Alright everyone, welcome back again to some more of the Nornery games. So we finally reunited back with our team and we're trying to figure out which doors will lead to the safest route. I don't know if uh, they're going to give us a choice in the first place, but I hope they do because I'd be curious to see uh, between doors, what, 3, 7, and 8 and what, they're, uh, what they have to offer. But if anything else, we're going to continue on from there and see how it goes. So if anything else guys, I hope you all continue to enjoy watching. Let's keep it rolling. It's impossible! Yeah, my brother's blind, but he's got really great hearing! He can get around as well as anyone who can see! So he... he couldn't get lost! That's impossible! Alright guys, welcome back. And right now, I just found out again because I forgot previously that we ended up missing uh, the blind dude. Hey, uh, hold on, Clover. Wait! Well, that didn't work. Damn it. What should we do now? Well, the red is working now. No! We're not leaving two people behind! We should go look for them! Oh, man. This ain't good. Oh, yes. What an excellent idea. We just wasted a bunch of time looking for some piece of electronic junk. Now let's waste some more by looking for a couple of idiots. Then remain here if you feel you must, but there's no time. We've only five hours left. Let's split up. Man, time went by real fast. We only have five hours now? Gosh. All right, I'll take this direction. Then I shall look that way. I'll be over here. Let's see you all later. All right, we should go too. Yes, let's go. But. Where should we start? Let's see. Hmm, the casino B deck, the first class cabin B deck, the hallway with all the rooms C deck, back to the large hospital room C deck. Ah, I don't know. Um, I think we've been through, I think we were, I think we were toured around the B decks already. I'm gonna try the hospital. Let's head back to the large hospital room. Huh? Why would we go back? Well, I mean, we might have just missed him, you know? Maybe he really was just late. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Okay, let's go. Hey, wait. That's... Santa? <laughs> what should Junpei do? Talk to him or walk away without saying anything. Okay, so, ah, uh, I hate when they do this because it just means... Alright, you know what? I don't normally do this, but I'm going to walk away. I don't know why, something just tells me just do it, and I'm going to go with my gut instinct. I doubt we learn anything from him anyway. Jumpy? No, uh, nothing. Let's go, June. Where would they go next? Ah, let's finish. That snake hasn't been anywhere we've searched. And we can't keep looking for him. Wherever he is, it's not here. We need to get moving. We don't got a choice. Lotus is right. We're not going to find Snake. There's a problem, though. We've got to figure out who's going to go through which door. Yes, I have a proposal. Why don't we decide on one person to sacrifice? Oh, of course. You would... <laughs> you would be the one to mention that, of course. Sacrifice? Well, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but yes. You've all figured it out by now, haven't you? We can't all make it through those doors. If we split into two teams of four and three people respectively, then three people will be left behind. If we split into two teams of five and two people respectively, then two people will be left behind. But if we split into two groups of three and leave one person out, then only one person will be left behind. Even behind three people with two teams of four and three. Mm. Ah. Ah. Ah, I hate this. Then... You're saying we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind. Yes, we do. 
Given our circumstances, it's logically and morally the best solution. If the other six are to survive, then one person has to sacrifice themselves. No! That's too cruel! What's so cruel about it? To... to just sacrifice someone like that? Then what's your plan? Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. That's not what I meant! We shouldn't sacrifice anyone! I, I told you, that's impossible. Wake up! Whoa, whoa, calm down, you two. Look, what Lotus is trying to say is... You should aim to bring the greatest amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people, right? Exactly. That's how democracy works. And for that reason, I think the only fair way to decide who will be sacrificed is through a vote. What do you think? No! That's terrible! I'm not asking you. Shut up! <laughs> oh my gosh. What about you, Santa? Me? Well, I agree. I guess. Alright, that's one vote for. Counting mine, that's two. Seven. I can't say I agree with you, but we don't exactly have a choice. If we don't do something, we're all gonna die. Oh, glad to see you get it. If I can get one more vote, then it's decided. What about you, Clover? Uh, hey, Clover. Your brother has to be behind one of the numbered doors. We've searched everywhere, but we didn't find him. Doesn't that mean he has to have gone through one of them somehow? Uh. Let's go look for him together, okay? Oh, she is good at manipulating her, too. I mean, we still don't know if he went through those doors. If we sacrifice one person, then we can go look for him. Look at you. Look at that. So convincing. You agree with me, right? Okay. <laughs> the motion carries. Now, let's start a vote to... That won't be necessary. I will stay. That should solve our problem, yes? Uh. Uh. Wow. Either this dude is both brave, bold, and uh, noble, or he has something up his sleeve. Uh. Ace, what are you saying? No, you can't do that. That won't solve anything. June. I'm afraid you may have misunderstood me. I said I would stay, but I never said I would sacrifice myself. That's the attitude I like. Huh? I trust you. Each and every one of you. I believe you'll come back for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's optimistic, and then there's just nuts. Those doors only go one way. You go in, you don't come out. If we go through them, you won't be able to return, correct? Yeah, true. But that will not be the case once you've escaped from the ship. What? Please, I beg you. Once you've escaped, come back and rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way we could get back in time. We only got five hours anyway, and we're probably going to ma use majority of that time trying to escape, which wouldn't leave us with much. I bet you by the end of this game, we'll have less than an hour left and that would probably still be us inside the ship trying to get out and he wants us to save him still we'll find out we've only got five hours left exactly we don't even know where the hell we are how on earth are we gonna find someone to come and rescue you then perhaps you would prefer to stay instead of me or perhaps you would be willing to leave june behind you see there's no other choice then i see we've come to our conclusion go on don't worry yourselves about me. Go, quickly. Uh... <laughs> hmm. Let's accept his kind offer, then. This girl's way too happy. Good. I think this is the best for me. Perhaps I'll be able to take a nap. It may be my age, but I get tired so easily these days. I don't know. It's a little too calm about well, all this. What are you waiting for? We're wasting time. Why don't we hurry it up? You're right. We should get going. That's all we can do right now. Seven? Seriously. Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. You too, Santa? I... I have to find my brother. W wait All of you! Let's just calm down and think about this. There has to be a way to get everyone out. 
There has to be. Right, Jumpy? Say something. Yeah, let's think. There's gotta be another way. Fine! Forget about it. I'll figure it out on my own. Ace! I just said I'd try and think about it. Why is she giving me attitude? <laughs> Come on, Ace. Please stand up. You can't give up yet. We just have to sit down together and think about this. We'll figure out a way that we can all get out of here. <sighs> Ace! What happened? Ace, say something! I'm alright. How are you alright? Oh, don't tell me he's already dying. That's why he's willing to sacrifice himself. This. A syringe? Soparil Beta. What does this do? Did... Did you use this? Yes. It's just... Anesthetic. I'll be fine. Anesthetic? I found it earlier. While we were searching the... Hospital rooms. I thought it might be useful. Later. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be... Using it on... Myself. Why did you do this? Didn't I... Tell you? I'd like to take a... Nap. I really am. Very tired. Ace. Hmm? Is there something you want to say? I just like to sleep a little. Could you keep it down? No, don't, Ace. Don't fall asleep. Ah, you feel warm. So comfortable. I think I'll have a nice dream. Ace! Ace! Uh, let's get him up on a bed. Well, we really don't have a choice now. We can't let his sacrifice go to waste, right? <sighs> like you even mean that. You say something? No, nothing. Yeah, but we're not done choosing yet, are we? Huh? What do you mean? Well, we haven't decided who's going in what door. Oh, yes. Yes, that's true. Enough of this screwing around. Let's decide. You first, Lotus. Which door do you want? I, um... I want door number eight. It's the same number as my bracelet number. Got it. You're eight. You're next seven. Which one do you want? I'll take seven. I can't get along with that old lady. What? What did you just say? Who, me? I, I didn't say nothing. Oh, you're gonna get it next time. All right, who's next? Oh, now she definitely won't hesitate in killing this guy too, or leaving him behind. Junpei, which door do you want? I'll go with Lucky Seven. I... I think... I'm gonna go with door seven. Okay, seven it is. Yeah. All right then, that means June's gotta go through eight. What? Why? What? If the six of us are gonna keep going without leaving anyone behind, there are only three ways we can do it. Have three, five, and eight go through seven, and four, six, and seven go through eight. Four, five, and seven go through seven, and three, six, and eight go through eight. Or three, six, and seven go through seven, and four, five, and eight get eight. There are no other combinations. In other words, three and four, and seven and eight can never go through the same doors. You get it now? Oh no, you're saying we aren't going to see each other again for a long time. <sighs> hey, come on. You're making it sound like we're never going to see each other again. We gotta split up, but only for a while. This is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yeah, probably. Probably? <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm sure they're going to connect somewhere. Why? What makes you think so? If they don't, then neither team can get through door 9. In other words, the game would end right here. Zero's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. He's not going to end this game until we get through the 9 door. Hmm. Everything's going to be fine. We're going to see each other again. I promise. Yes. Promise? <sighs> you guys are done, right? Anyway, that's pretty much it. 
Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I figure I'll take eight and Clover can take seven. Any problems with that, Clover? Whatever. All right, we're ready to go then. Let's move. Oh, so I'm with uh, the big dude and Clover. <laughs> Poor June. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Into door number seven. It's open. Let's do this! Hurry! <sighs> June. Jumpy. What the hell are you doing, Junpei? Only 81 seconds left. No time to waste, guys. Let's get moving. Look, the door on the left. I can see the dead. <sighs> it stopped. It stopped. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second time we've gone through one of these numbered doors, but whew, you never really get used to it. I would have thought a guy your size would have bigger balls than that. What? What the hell did you just say? Say it again! I dare you! You have no... You little... You wanna die? I'd like to see you try. You fucking brat! All right, let's go! Hey, hey, calm down, guys. This isn't the time for... this. It's not gonna do us any good. <laughs> uh, wait here for a minute, all right? I'm gonna go see if there are any other doors. We just came through this door. Ah, and of course it's shut tight. There's a short hallway on the left here, and an iron wall. I doubt I can get through it. This door's the only option we've got, right? Yeah, looks like it. Hey, something's written on the door, on that iron plate. It says operating room. If this thing's telling the truth, there could be body parts inside here. Well, this is probably not going to be pleasant. Well, there's no point to standing around. Might as well go in and see what's waiting for us. Uh -huh. What's wrong? No, it, it's nothing. Let's just go. Huh? What the hell is this? Why don't we take a look? Hey, Clover! Ah! What? Clover! Hey, what's wrong? Wh what the hell is this? That's a mannequin. It's better than an actual dead body. Is... is this a corpse? We should probably take a closer look. Yeah. This is... What the hell? That's just a huge doll or something. A d doll? <sighs> You're right. It's only a doll. Man, it really scared me. <laughs> well, I guess it would have been weird if you actually had any balls. Shut it! Don't you start with me, fatty. <laughs> oh, what's this? You want a piece of me, short stuff? Man, these guys picked the wrong time to keep bickering. Yeah, bring it on, you whale! Hey, guys, not again, okay? Seriously, knock it off. <sighs> Jeez. Anyway, looks like he's got something the two of you could stand to have a little more of. I'm talking about a heart. Huh? Uh, uh, oh, this? You mean on his chest? Yeah. Why would there be a heart in a doll? I don't think it's a doll. You think maybe it's, like, a medical mannequin or something? Or maybe it's got more... personal uses? <laughs> anyway, how about we take a look around this place? Let's go. Okay. Sure thing. Seek a way out again. This time in the operating room, right? Alright, so all right, that's us right there. The overview. Now, what am I looking at here? What's this? 
Hey, I wonder what this thing is. It says KG on the display. Oh, it's a weight? Scale. You think it's scale? Alright, let's see what's here. Oh, fantastic. Scalpel. Oh, yes, I got myself a scalpel. It's not rusty. Seems like it was put here for a reason, huh? I think it's telling us to cut something. Yeah, I do. Alright, uh, what's this? Let's check here. Mm. Kosher forceps. Kosher. Are those scissors? They look kind of funny. No, that's probably a pair of kosher forceps. Surgeons use them during operations. They can hold blood vessels shut and keep tissue out of the way. We can use it to pull stuff out of small holes or something like that. Oh, well, we're probably gonna need all this now, huh? Alright, let's see what else we can get here. Fake chest. <laughs> I didn't even know I got a fake chest. What the heck? Yeah, that's gross. That's the chest. It's a woman's chest. The heart's gone, but it's pretty hot. Wow. If that kind of thing turns you on, Seven, you're a real creepo. <laughs> what is this? Medical mannequin with his gut showing. Yeah, gross. Cupid, this is slid in distance chest. Yeah, sure is. There's something in there. Maybe we can get it out. Just thinking thing on budge. It's stuck. I guess you can't use force in this one then. We need something small that can fit into that little hole. Ah, okay. Boom. Fake organ. Alright. Wait, hold on a second. Let's try cutting the organ with a scalpel. Oh, okay. I wanted to see if I could cut it. I didn't think I was actually gonna get a key out of it. Alright. That works out in my favor. So there's probably a locked door here. Cool, it's unlocked. Oh, yep, there it was. Ah, interesting. Oh my gosh, hold on. What's this? Uh, what's in the jar? Let's see, a piece of paper. What's this? Some kind of medical record? New material has been added to the file screen. Alright, we got ourselves a medical record. 21. Can I unlock this door? It's locked. Won't even budge. Do you think this is the exit? Ah, oh, okay. I'm fairly certain I won't be needing this yet. Beaker and all that good stuff. Uh, sink. The doctor's nurse probably washed their hands here before an operation. It's suspicious here. Okay. Uh-huh. Ah. What the hell you doing? You wanna get out of here? But I'm tired. Okay, well, hey, listen. We can rest after we figure out a way out of here. The jar is empty. Yeah, nothing there. Maybe you're supposed to heat something like that gauze to kill bacteria. It's a boiling thing over there. And the lame drawers. Okay. Oh. Parts. Other parts. I think this is what we have to use our uh, the fake bus we found. We're gonna be finding other parts for this mannequin to make it whole, right? Alright, so saves me the trouble of worrying about that for now. What's on the right side? That's probably where I came from. Awesome, it's unlocked. 
Oh, okay. Let's see. There's a note on top of the table. Iron is one salt equals two water. Equals two. Okay, so iron is one, salt is two, water three. We need to remember that. Carbon dioxide, question mark, ammonia, question mark, ethanol, question mark. Oh my gosh, there's a lot to memorize here. Okay, well, let me write that down. Okay, what do you think this is a hint for? Maybe it's got something to do with this box. The box is locked. Looks like you have to enter a passcode on the keypad to open it. You can only enter three numbers. E is for entering C is clear. Once you input the number, press E. If you mess up, press C. Let's give it a shot. Oh, okay. Um, Alright, give me a minute, guys. I'm going to see if I can figure this out. Alright guys, after <laughs> it took me a while, but I think I figured it out. So apparently carbon dioxide would equal three. Um ammonia four. And finally ethanol would be nine. And then we hit enter. Oh, got arm. Fake right arm. It's the right arm of the body. It's kinda creepy. How about the heart? Big heart. This thing is super creepy. This ain't good for the heart. Oh, funny jokes. Funny, funny jokes. Oh, we can take this. There's something inside that bottle. You try pouring some out into the cap. Can't see any reason why not. So that's bright blue. You think it's alien blood? Where the hell did that come from? What do you think it is, Seven? I don't know, some sort of special bath soap? Ugh, what a boring guess. It's a bit like quid. Looks like there's something inside that bottle. Bright red. Do you think it's blood? No, blood's thicker than that. What is it? Beats me. Alright, so we got ourselves two bottles. I have a feeling these bottles are meant for the other room. think we should go back? Yeah, I think that's probably best. Hey, Seven, what's up? Oh, well... Is, is that a medicine bottle? I got curious about it. Here. Ethylene diamine tartrate? Yeah, that's right. CDT. What kind of medicine is that? It's not medicine. I think it's an industrial strength detergent. Why would they have something like that here? Well, probably to clean stuff up. Clean what up? Fuck if I know. Still, it looks like it's cleaned my brain up. You remember something? Yeah. Well, I remember a story about EDT. Happened about 50 years ago. There was this factory somewhere in America making big old EDT crystals. <laughs> they were making it to sell as an industrial strength cleaner, like I told you before. But a year after the factory started up, something strange started happening with the crystals they were building. Water molecules started attaching themselves to the EDT crystals. This made them into a sort of mutation of the original crystals, called a hydrate. Once the crystals turn into a hydrate, though, it's useless as a cleaner. The factory had to just dump the crystals. As a hydrate, they were useless. But it didn't end there. After that day, the same thing started happening in EDT factories everywhere, even ones nowhere near that first American factory. They'd been making crystals the same way, with the same materials and the same equipment and environment. But now, all of a sudden, every single crystal they formed turned into a hydrate. In fact, ever since that day, no factory anywhere has been able to make a pure EDT crystal. Even in EDT research done years before, they'd never gotten a hydrate. But after it happened at the first factory, it just... spread. It was like... Man, how do you say it? Like the molecules were communicating with one another transmitting information in a way humans couldn't perceive. This phenomena spread throughout the world, right? Yeah, that's... that's it exactly. But how did you know? I heard another story uh, kind of like that one. When? In the freezer. What? The freezer? Yeah, June told me. 
Hmm. Ice that doesn't melt at room temperature, huh? That sounds familiar. Yeah, hold on. I, I feel like I can remember something. It's right there. Do you? You know about Ice Nine. Do you know about Ice Nine? Ice Nine? Ice Nine. Ice Nine. Ice, Ice. That's it. I remember now. That woman, she's on this boat. I was tempted to say baby after he said ice, ice. That woman? Alice! Who's Alice? Come on, the woman who won't melt at room temperature. Huh? You know how the Titanic sank on April 15th, 1912, right? Yeah, more than 1,500 people died. Worst maritime accident in history. What about it? Did you hear about the boat that was sent to collect the dead bodies? Alright, wow. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to have to end the video here for today. Thank you all for watching. When we come back, we're going to continue on in the operating room. Gather the rest of the, apparently, mannequins, uh, fake mannequins uh, parts so we can build it. And I think it's going to give us something out of it. I don't know. But we'll find out if anything in the next one. So thank you all again for watching.